In this video, we're going to take a look at AR Foundation, a package that allows you to build cross-platform augmented reality applications using Unity. AR Core and AR Kit are the primary native SDKs for Android and iOS respectively. These powerful tools allow for far more than simply overlay models on the screen. Using them, you are able to create a virtual world that overlaps with the physical world. If you have a good set of feature point clusters on an even axis, AR Foundation can now make a fair assumption that we have detected a solid object. This can be both vertical or horizontal. It will then place a prefab of your choice in the scene. AR Foundation does include a plane by default. This plane can then adapt its size to fit the area whenever more feature points are scanned around it. All we need to do to get started with AR development is go into our package manager and import AR Foundation, AR Core if you want to build for Android, and AR Kit if you want to build for iOS. Keep in mind you will need access to a Mac running Xcode to build and deploy your iOS projects. With these packages installed, we can go ahead and create an AR session and AR session origin in our hierarchy. These objects can be created by right clicking and selecting them under the new XR menu. The latter object contains a camera using a tracked pose driver component. This component keeps track of the device's world position, transforming any virtual objects relative to those movements. To visualize the data that AR Foundation reads from the camera, we can select our session origin and add the components AR Plane Manager and Point Cloud Manager. We're now able to customize how these managers visualize the data given a prefab. Let's start by creating an instance of an AR default point cloud. This allows us to visualize feature points using the particle system. We'll also create an AR default plane. This allows us to change our plane's boundary points based on the feature points available. Later, we'll want to spawn these in via a script. So let's drag these into our asset window to turn them into prefabs. We can now start playing around with the properties to control how we visualize that data. Once we're happy with any modifications that we've made, we can go back into our AR session origin and place these prefabs onto their respective fields. And with that, we can now build to our device and visualize all of that world information using our prefabs. Here we see a newly created plane. And as we move around, the object remains anchored to its original position in the world. All AR objects are in what we call session space, transforming our Unity scene relative to the device's position. Since the plane is just an object in a Unity scene, we can actually just interact with this as we would any other object in Unity. Here we've added a simple c -sharp script that allows us to ray cast forward from the camera to the plane and then instantiate an object at the point where the ray intersects with the plane. We can also interact with the object based on its distance. Here we're exploding our brake assembly model as we get closer to it and as we pull away it starts to contract. Here we see an example of providing a user onboarding sequence once a plane has been identified. We can do this by subscribing to the event which is raised when the plane is instantiated. It's never been easier to jump in and get started with AR development with Unity. Check out the links in the description down below for a sample project and to explore courses to help you learn more about AR development.